What's up guys, this is HackOSI, and this is video number two in the series of the Star Wars The Old Republic Mimic Bot Guides. In this video we are going to elaborate on setting up your config file and action bars and combat settings. So the first thing that we want to do is bring up this window. This is where the last video left off. Now with your action bars, your bar one is where all your offensive abilities go. Your first slot always needs to be empty. The second slot needs to always have your healing ability. If you have a passive healing, if you have a class healing, whatever your healing ability is, it needs to be right here. From three all the way to the end of the bar is where your offensive combat abilities will go. You see I have hammer shot on number three right now. I have explosive round on number four. Now then, to add these spells to the bot, you're going to right click this window and click add. Now I know they are on action bar 1, and my first ability is on slot 3, and a thousand milliseconds means the bot will press it every second, and that's fine with me. Now I'm going to add my second ability, which is also on bar 1, and it's on slot 4. That's this one right here, explosive round. And I'm going to tell the bot to do it every 5,000 milliseconds. So every 5 seconds we're going to shoot that, which is just fine. So that's the basics of adding abilities to your action bars and the timing involved. The next thing we're going to look at is your combat settings. If you are a ranged class, please select range. If you are a melee class, please select melee. Default combat distance is 30 yards for ranged, and between 8 and 15 for melee, depending on your class. Play with this number if you're melee for best results. The next tab we're going to go to is the rest tab. Go ahead and enable this. And this box right here is what percentage you want the bot to rest. I'm going to say 45% health is where I want it to start resting and 99% health is when I want it to stop. Do not use the numbers 0 or 100. Any of these values need to be between 1 and 99. Make sense? Great. Next tab we're going to take a look at is the Loot Settings tab. Go ahead and click Auto Loot and enter your bag size, how many slots you have in your bag. I have 30 because I'm a new character, so 30 works just fine. And as soon as I've set up all these, I'm good to hit save and quit. And now you have the basics of setting up your action bars and setting up your combat settings. In addition to bar 1, on bar 3 is where your buffs need to go. So anywhere on bar 3 is where your buff spells need to go. The bot will use these before getting into combat. You add them to your action bar just like you do regular abilities. I'll show you real quick. Let's say I'm going to add, this is action bar 3, and that's slot 3. And how long does this last? For cooldown is 6 seconds. And it lasts for 60 minutes. So I'm going to put it on an interval of 60,000 milliseconds. Which is every 60 minutes the bot will use that buff for me. Make sense? Awesome. When you're done with that, go ahead, save and quit. You are now good to go to move on to guide and video number 3.